welcome to Two Wheels for the 150th time. 150? Hey, now then, who'd have thought it, eh? Don't you feel old, that, doesn't it? I never feel old. Do you not? No, 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 no. look, but never feel. 150 weeks on the bounce. You know, that's like, 150 programmes is more than some programmes or some run for like 10 years' time over mm. a 10 year period. Non stop, mate. That's really, I should have a month off, I reckon. Yeah. Well, it's funny you should say that because uh, most of these emails here say, the same thing, Wayne should have a month off. Oh yeah, sure. I, I want to have a look at them later. <laughs> well, but we have had some special requests uh, just for Wayne. You've had one particular request, haven't you, Wayne? Yeah. Uh, yes, but I couldn't do that. No, no, there's no way the microphone would fit, no, actually. No, not when I bring the tear to me, anyway. <laughs> we did try and it didn't work. But uh, yeah, lots of requests for lots of different things. We're going to try and show you a little bit of most things. Obviously, we can't show everything because we'll be here till next week. But very popular, it seems, is motorcycle touring. Lots of people like to go abroad on the bikes and we've done our fair share of that as well so just for you people here's some quick clips of bikers abroad We were on our final leg of the journey, with only two countries left before we reached Nuria's home city of Barcelona. We had caught the ferry from Greece and after a turbulent eight hours arrived in the Italian port of Ancona. However, the customs and exercise officers were waiting and detained us on suspicion of smuggling drugs. They stripped the bike down and sent in the sniffer dogs. Uh, they try with one dog, it's like that. Come here, come here, right here, here, here. Nothing. I say, it's finished. Say, no, 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 one moment. They come in with another dog. Well, we're trying with another dog the same, the same. I say, they losing the time. Second dog. They, they put the dog in it and we thought it's finished. Regular viewers will know that we've been abroad before, but this time I had a new excuse. Joining a trip with MCI Tours down to the south of France for that famous endurance race, the Bold d'Or. But more of that in a later programme. This is about another sort of endurance ride, the 750 miles to get there. The first leg was a thrash across northern France. Pretty uninspiring auto routes most of the time, but they do have regular eateries to brighten the journey, and best of all, I had a new VFR 800 to play with. Passing through villages and traffic-free open countryside, you knew you were in France all right, but we did have one mishap. At our hotel, I asked tour leader Alistair McFarlane what had happened. Well, we had a young lady on our tour today. Um, she on a CBR 400 and unfortunately she had soft luggage on the back and the soft luggage came unstuck. I've talked to Emma, Emma's actually in hospital at the moment, but she's recovering fine, she's had a bang on the head and she's in there for observation. Um, she tells me that she checked at Calais that everything was properly adjusted. It seems that a bungie has let go, the soft luggage has moved over and it's jammed the rear wheel. Now that's a frightening thing to happen, Jeff, at any kind of speed. But when you're on the auto route and you're perhaps tramping on a bit, 70, 80 miles an hour, for the rear wheel to lock up, that challenges anybody's skills. So there we go, a bit of the old touring, eh? You and Jeff, you get just about everywhere, all over the flaming world. Where do I get to? Skegness? You've been to the Isle of Man, haven't you? Oh, you can call that abroad, can you? We, we, can't, we can't let you go to France anywhere like that, anywhere exotic. How was that then? Anywhere, they might think we're all that shape, might they? Oh, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> anyway, never mind that, what's yeah, next? Yeah, right. Next, sporting activities. You know, a bit of the off-road, a bit of road racing, a bit of all that sort of thing. A bit of action. Oh, aye. You're into, you like action. You're oh, an action man, aren't you? Action man, aye. Hey? Yeah. yeah. He's, He's won a few, few medals on the old off-road outfit. Oh, yeah, aye, some cups. Yeah. Got one of them there, little egg cups. Have you? Yeah. Right, well um, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, don't like the serious bit because it is very, very popular, the sporting activities. And mm. we've covered everything. We've covered speedway and supercross and everything. But uh, uh, definitely my passion and my favourite is the indoor trials. Mm. Them boys are clever. Let's have a look at that. Run VT then, Paul. Okay, hit it.
brilliant, isn't it, motorcycle sport? Yeah. You've got to admire any of those sportsmen super, at any level. Super fit, aren't they? Oof, got to be. Well, super look fit. Look at me. Did you used to be fit when you did it? Uh, yeah, but I can't remember that far back. <laughs> now, very popular um, in our programme are the bike tests, because we, we try and do a bike test uh, as often as we can, and we've done hundreds, haven't we? When hundreds. you say we, do you mean like the royal we, like we, you we. and Jeff? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I've done, what, I can count how many I've done on one hand. You've done a few, one or two, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. and one of those tests was uh, a needle in my backside. <laughs> it was positive, though, wasn't it? It was, unfortunately. Carry on, carry on. <laughs> yes, but, of course, bike tests are very, very popular, uh, and certainly the most popular ones are the sports bikes. So, going off the emails and requests, I've managed to get together the four most popular, which are the Hayabusa, the fastest bike in the world, the R1, the ZX6, and the R6. So, for all you bike test lovers, here they are. Let me do that, let me do well, that. Do you, know, it a go. do you know what you're doing? Yeah, oh. leave it to me, leave it to me, I've got it. Go. You. Well done. I spent two full days with the test team out in Spain, with riders from as far apart as Australia, Japan and the United States. During that time, I didn't hear a single negative comment about this bike. And I'm certain at this price, the Hayabusa will positively fly out of the showrooms. And it explodes into life like nothing you've ever ridden. Its small physical size and lightweight help to make the R1 feel really manageable and almost encourages you to push things perhaps a little further than you would normally. It's great fun trying to keep the front wheel in contact with the tarmac. The riding position has you stretched over the tank, reaching to the low bars in real racetrack style. The handling is faultless, sharp, precise, yet predictable with no nasty twitches or surprises, no matter how you ride it. Front and rear suspension is fully adjustable, although the factory settings are so good that there's absolutely no need for any fiddling in this department. Leave well alone and just enjoy the ride. The six-speed gearbox is smooth and very positive, and working the motor hard as you flick through it will see you attaining ridiculous speeds before you can say fixed penalty. Ninja it might say, but Howling Wolf it is. Responsible is that musical air box under the tank making the most wonderful noises. It's as if air is being drawn through some giant mouth organ. It's absolutely brilliant and can keep you entertained for hours, zipping up and down the six-speed box like some displaced tap dancer. Yes, no doubt about it, entertainment is this quacker's forte. 14,000 revs comes up in no time at all, making it hard to realise you're on a 600. But ease off a touch and you have a tractable 600 pulling away smoothly, until that banshee whale starts at around eight grand and you're off again, playing races. Everything about the R6 is designed to save weight. The engine is as free running as possible, using low friction bearings and lightweight valve springs. The spark plugs each incorporate an ignition coil for the bike's direct ignition system. The head has been gas flowed and the four large 37mm carbs are assisted by a ram air system which improves the mixture at speed by pushing in more oxygen and so boosting power. Yamaha say that at 155 miles per hour it boosts power by 10%. Well, still to come on this request special 150th show, we've got uh, some great things lined up that you want to see again. We've got Wayne out for a day playing cricket. Uh, not a ball in sight. No, well, you were playing with your helmet, weren't you? That was the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that again. Uh, we've got some uh, top stunt riding, some fantastic stunt riding, and some very, very funny stunt riding with the world-famous purple helmets. And uh, we've got some top shows, and also many people have asked to see this. And that was Jumping Jape Semtex at the BMF show earlier this year. And in fact, uh, things didn't go quite to plan. In fact, it was purposely designed to go wrong. It was supposed to go wrong, yes. But in actual fact, it nearly went very, very wrong. It very nearly uh, did, yes. You need to uh, just check it out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Two Wheels 150th episode Request Special. Yes, requests. I mean, people are writing in and making requests to see me. I know. Which they, is amazing. They really need to get out more, don't I they? I know. But see me <laughs> hitting a helmet with a cricket bat and being fired at with a flaming fireman's hose pipe. Well, there you Why? Go. Why on earth? Why? We don't know, but we'll show them anyway. We'll show them. Eh? Here we go. Your request is our command. <laughs> Shung. Wayne's Warehouse. 
this week is out on the road and the reason for that is we're going to see our helmet is tested before you put the thing on your head for this particular demonstration we need some equipment excuse me just one second so there we go stop laughing what are you laughing at this is my test equipment just uh, check this out said he had this all sussed and arranged and I assumed he meant he was organising the weather because he does say he is God uh, but he hasn't organised the weather in fact what has he got organised? Oh my goodness what on earth has he got here? I still believe it. actually get wet then, Wayne? No, not at all, I'm dry as a bow. No, I mean then. Oh, when we did the piece? Yeah, did no, you actually get wet underneath? No, no, remarkable. You see, the modern suits, these mm. waterproof suits, they have like a Velcro collar that goes across nice and tight, right. cuffs yeah. that elasticated, right, right, zips oh, yeah. that cover up with a the, flap. The, on the basis of need to know, that's we don't need to know. Thank you I'm very much. Help, yeah, no, so. stunt riding is just very popular. Bit, uh, just, so. Shut up. Sorry, was I talking when you were interrupting then? I'm sorry about that. Right, stunt riding is very, very popular. Lots of people I want to see it again. It seems that people could watch people doing wheelies and stoppies all day long. But we've had the uh, honour of working with a couple of the country's top stunt riders, Dave Coates and Jack Frost, and also with what is without doubt the world's funniest stunt team, all the way from the Isle of Man, the Purple Helmets. So here they are. <laughs> shows 
There are hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of people who visit the various different bike shows and rallies all over the country throughout the year. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Lots of people go, but there are still lots and lots more people that don't go, can't get to them for various reasons. So they like to see the two wheels eye view, I suppose you could call mm -hmm. it, couldn't you? Good indeed. Because we try and visit as many as we can. So uh, by popular request, once again, here's a look at some of the top shows and rallies that we've covered. And also in this next little segment is an amazing stunt from Jumping Jake Semtex. Watch this. That was actually set up. That was supposed to happen, almost. What should have happened was the white car was meant to roll over and Jake should have crashed beside it. Unfortunately, as you can see there, he landed right on the roof. As I say, this was actually set up and there were no injuries to any party. He's great, that Jake Semtex, isn't he? Amazing. Remarkable. Fantastic. That was a clever stunt, that, wasn't it? Indeed it was, because even though it looked like it had gone wrong, it was just right. He well, had it how he wanted it. A lot of skill and, and a lot of bottle. A bottle, talking a bottle. <coughs> Thirsty. A bit parched myself. Mm. You may in fact notice there's a, a member of the team missing uh, who is, happens to be down at the bar buying us a drink. Yes, Uncle Jeff. Yes, indeed. He's I'm glad the programme's coming near to an end so yeah. I can go and join him. Yes, well, it is coming near to an end, but without doubt, the most popular request that we've had is uh, people wanting to see us and Jeff and everybody else uh, making fools of ourselves. Can you believe that? I just can't imagine why the request. No, I can't. But we have got quite a lot of material <laughs> to go off. Yes, we're talking, of course, about outtakes. Uh, we could show you a full series of. We've got tons, haven't we? Uh, yes, just hours and hours There's of outtakes. Not so outtakes. much to me because I'm perfect. So it's uh, we're not going <laughs> to <laughs> we're not going to squeeze them all in now. But we will be the uh, be uh, be. Uh, There's another outtake. <laughs> but we will be devoting a substantial part of uh, next week's program to some fantastic outtakes, some great things to see. But just to whet your appetite, have a look at this. Do you know, I don't know how you do that, hey. ball so controlled. Fantastic. Eh? Fantastic. It's basically <laughs> the same engine as Yamaha using their FJ1200 board out, bigger pistons, stronger con rods, all the rest of it. And there's plenty of FJ1200 still. What, see, what are you laughing at? What's going on here? I wonder what you were laughing at then. 